Hey guys! How are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Share this video. I think this is going to be super important for people to hear because this is something that I've been praying about and asking the Lord for months. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. This video is going to be... Are we going to see revival or are we going to see a falling away? Now, falling the falling away is biblical and it's what is happening right now. We are seeing many people falling away from the faith, you guys. It says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And then we, you know, we can jump over to Matthew 24 as well. I have a lot of scripture, you guys. We'll jump over to Matthew 24, um, verse 10. And it says, And then shall many be offended and betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations, and then shall the end come. And, you know, you keep, you, you think about it, and it's just it, over and over and over in times, uh, verses, it talks about the falling away and how people's, you know, the love's going to grow cold, their hearts are going to wax cold, people's hearts are going to fail them out of fear, and it's just over and over and over. Um, but, you know, I am seeing, I, I'm seeing the falling away. I see it. I know what's happening the churches the churches are not the early first church doctrines that it was we aren't um working in the spirit we're not working in the gifts we kind of just want the holy spirit to kind of sit over there and we want to kind of do our own thing and plan things and try to do it in man's strength and while that's happening the church is crumbling People are leaving the building. People, it's a form of godliness, but there is no power. They don't want the power of the Holy Spirit in the church. People don't want to live righteous. They don't want to live and repent and turn away from their sin. And I have noticed since preaching and speaking and teaching on this stuff, many of the Christians don't want to hear this. They want to hear an ear-tickling message. So, of course, the falling away is happening. Um... But I'm also seeing a revival. And you guys, I'm one of those people. I'm one of the ones that have been revived the past year or two. I have this fire inside of me that is just burning. And it's the Holy Spirit. And I just want, I just feel so strongly you know, last night it really hit me hard. And the Lord was like, I need you to get this message out. That there is going to be a revival that God is about to show his power. And, you know, he's not going to sit there and just let the enemy uh, bombard people and be bold and not have the men and women of God be bold and use us through the Holy Spirit to see healings happen, to see deliverances happen, to see miracles happen, like to have the word preached. There's a famine of the word and he needs the vessels. He needs the mouths to speak this stuff. And as the enemy's getting bolder, we are getting bolder. People are being revived. People are being woke up. And the definition of revival is to act or the instance of reviving, the state of being revived, restoration, you guys. So as I'm seeing people fall away that I never would have thought, you know, the religious people, they're falling away while the people you never would expect are being revived. There's a new, there's an outpouring of the Holy Spirit and you're seeing people being on fire for God and they're not afraid to speak the truth. They're not afraid to lose people in the church. They're not afraid to step on toes. They're not afraid to offend people because they know that they're working for the Lord. They're not working for men and we don't need the approval of men. So that is where I'm coming from on revival. There's a lot of people in the mindset that, you know, I was there too just a couple years ago, like, the falling away is here. 
the great apostasy here what is here what's the point what's the point of trying to do anything because i'm seeing everyone fall and that is exactly what the enemy wants us to believe because he wants us to just shut up he wants us to sit back he there's still people out there there's still some elect and chosen people that need to hear the word they need to hear the true word of god there like i said there's a famine of the word you know people aren't preaching it and i strongly believe that once they hear that and their hearts cut and you know it's pierced that they're going to be revived the lord is sending us out he wants us to reach the lost sheep they he still he's not back yet jesus has not came back yet so we have work to do you guys the lord is slow He's patient. He doesn't want anyone to perish. So in the meantime, we need to be out there doing the work. Um, Matthew 9, 37 through 38, it says, you know, then he says to his disciples, the harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray you therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. So, you know, over and over again there's a harvest out there but we have got to reach out and go in the highways and the byways and speak the the word of the lord so these people that are never going to walk into a church building you know most of the time they're not going to come in a church building they need to hear the word of the lord there's a revival coming people have a hunger for truth they have a hunger for the word of god and you know it really breaks my heart that people are seeking out these counterfeit spiritual things and you know you can seek out that right now but eventually you're going to realize you have been bamboozled and you're going to be broken and people need us they're going to need us to tell them the truth and tell them the word of God and tell them what God's done and what he's doing and what he's about to do. I'm excited, you guys. I am so excited to see what the Lord's doing. And I just can't stop talking about it because he's about to show out. Like, you think you've seen things so far? Like, we're about to see some crazy things happen. I just strongly believe that because... The enemy's over there and we're like, oh my gosh, like what? Like this is insane. Think about how much bigger and better and more powerful our God is. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jesus, the Son of God, God in the flesh, like he, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, like he's pouring it out and big things are going to happen. He is going to show his glory, y'all. And I want to be in it. I want more of it. I want to witness it. I want to be right in it, you guys, before he comes back. Because I just really, be, like, I don't know about you guys, but I have loved ones and family members that are lost. And I want to see them revived. I want to see them in heaven. So what are what are we doing? What are we doing for the kingdom? Let's do some kingdom work, you guys. I'm fired up. Um, and as I've been praying, I just keep hearing, like, shine. Like, we're going, the righteous are going to shine. And I was looking it up in Matthew 13, verse 37. You know, I know Daniel talks about this in Daniel. But in Matthew 13, verse 37, it says... He answered, I'm just going to go through and read this, this whole thing, because it's towards the end. But, you know, he answered and said to them, he that sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. He's separating, you know, right now a separation season. I truly believe that. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, lawlessness, um, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth, the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father, who has ears to hear, let him hear." We have got to shine. When The darker it gets, the brighter the light gets. You guys, have you ever had a little light in a dark room? How bright does it look? We need to be shining. We don't need to, you know, sit back and think, well, well, you know, the great falling away has happened. No, there is still chosen ones and elect out there that need to hear the word of God. You know, the ones that are falling, I guess just let them fall. You know, it's I've noticed that it's easier to witness to lost people 
most of the time than it is to witness to religious people and really, you know, the lukewarm. It's really hard, and I'm telling you, if you're lukewarm, you need, you need to humble yourself and ask the Lord to to help you and to let you see and just really get back in His Word and get back to praising Him and get back to putting Him a number one priority. But half the time, you can't tell these people that they're lukewarm. You can't you can't even talk about lukewarm Christianity or they get offended because there's so much pride there. Like, you know, I I don't want to be prideful or arrogant either. I pray that the Lord takes that out of me every day, but I know that I also have His Word that I have to get out, and I have, you know, I have to be a leader. We have to be leaders for the kingdom. Um, we have to help people gently out of love. Um... And, you know, I was lukewarm, too. It's just been the past couple of years that he's really, like, back in 2020, there was a shaking, you guys. There was a shaking, and that was the time. Are you, there's a line drawn, are you going to serve the Lord Jesus Christ? If Baal be God, serve him. If Jesus is your Lord, serve him. Stop trying to ride the fence. You can't. You cannot ride the fence. Daniel 12 talks about, you guys, the devil is a liar. My phone or my camera just literally died and I just grabbed my phone. I'm like, I'm just going to keep recording on this. Um, but Daniel 12 talks about this. Uh, I'm trying to find it. This got me all messed up, you guys. Daniel 12, 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever, you guys. We are to plant the seeds. We are to go out and be workers. And, you know, we don't have to do... We, it's not us doing the work. We're just being the vessels and letting God use us. It's the Holy Spirit that is going to really water... Well, we're watering the seeds. It's the Holy Spirit that's really going to convict and pierce the heart of people. And that is when you're going to see people revived. Um, we're just to plant the seeds and kind of water them, you know. The Holy Spirit waters them. But we can't um, just do it all in our own strength. We have to have the Lord's wisdom. We have to have the Lord's strength. We have to be constant and prayer and praise and talking with him and asking him, you know, what do we need to be doing right now? Um, so I want to read Acts 2 verse 17 as well, because I have been really hearing this a lot when I'm praying and stuff, but he is outpouring his spirit. You know, it's going to be an outpour if you want it, if you're in, if you are seeking it, because if you're not, you're not going to benefit out of it. You know, he, it says, And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call out on his name. Call out on his name, you guys. This world is too crazy. They're flipping it upside down. The world, Satan, he wants you. He wants to have rain in your heart. Call out to the Lord now while he may be found. And that leads me right into Isaiah 55 verse 6. It says, Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and let the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God for he will abundantly pardon call out to the Lord why he may be found. You guys, we don't know how much more time we have. You don't know how much more time you have. Even if Jesus doesn't come back tomorrow, you don't know if you could go out tomorrow and you have another day. We don't know the next breath we have. You guys, my little girl just woke up in the middle of the night two nights ago and said, mommy, I can't breathe. My throat hurts. Like she was having a reaction, I think to some flowers we had in the house. She has a little bit of asthma and 
she couldn't breathe. And I was just sitting there like thinking like every breath from God is a gift. The breath from God is a gift. And we never know when our last breath is going to be. So you guys, today's the day of salvation. Today is the day to say, Lord, revive me in the name of Jesus. I want that Holy Spirit fire. I want to be brought back to life. I want restoration. I want all of you, Lord, repent and seek the kingdom of God today because we don't know how much more time we have. And with that, I'm going to hop off here. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me, for subscribing, for sharing the videos. I hope this encourages you because I know what it's like to just kind of give up and not really think that anything you're doing is matter. But I'm telling you, the word does not go void. And if you are spreading the seeds, if you're scattering Yay. the seeds, he is working in the midst. I love you guys. Bye. God bless you. Bye. You want to tell bye? Bye. bye.